Runway ML Gen 3 is a leap forward in AI video generation. But what's the easiest way to get the best result? From their new text to video, to image to video, camera motion, preset, and even lip sync. I'm gonna go through them step by step to show you what I found after months of playing with it. So by the end of this video, you can be a Runway ML expert. First, to get started, just go to runwayml.com. And as you can see, there is quite a few generations on the screen that you can take a look at, all generated through Gen 3. Now, all we need to do to get started is to click the Get Started button, click on Sign Up for Free, just enter your email address, sign up with Google, sign up with Apple, or a single sign-on, and we're now on the inside. As you can see, there are tons of things that you can do inside a runway ML but what we're going to focus on in this video are these specific video tools and first up text to video so I'm just gonna click on this text slash image to video and we land in the prompting studio I believe most of you will have the best results by adding an image and then turning that into a video but Let's check how the text to video compares. It says describe your shot and there is a guide. So I'm gonna summarize the guide for you to give you the pro tips. When you're using text only base prompt, they want you to add camera movement first, then establishing scene and then additional details. So for example, low angle static shot. So that's the camera movement. The camera is angled up at a woman wearing all orange as she stands in a tropical rainforest with colorful flora. The dramatic sky is overcast and gray. So this is what we need to fill out. I want to do a handheld shot and I'm going to add my expertise in here. I would actually like for it to be more of object. So you describe the object first. This could be the character and the details of the character. And then we describe the background or environment afterwards. I'm going to do a panda wearing a suit top hat and monocle in a steampunk style. And here is where we're going to add the background slash environment sitting in an old chair in a 80s retro office. And I'm going to add more camera movement here. So camera zooming in on a human like panda on his phone and I want to create this gangster like panda. So this is the prompt that I'm going to use. Now you see that you have a bunch of different examples in the bottom as well. These are mostly templates and presets that you can use to actually get the thing that you want. I'm going to keep everything blank here and show you that there are settings as well. If you paid for runway, you can click on remove watermark. You see that the resolution will be 720p. And also we have the seconds here. I'll use five seconds because normally we don't really need more than that. And I'll click on the generate button one time and then another time. So we get two different iterations and then we just have to wait. I'm really excited to see how this is going to go. We got one of them back and then we get a generation blocked. Apparently there was something wrong with that, but let's take a look at the first result here. There we go. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, definitely no top hat, no steampunk, but he's definitely on his phone looking like a mafia boss right there. Now, this is one of the reasons why you definitely would love to do the image to video because take a look at this. This was kind of what I was looking for or imagining in my head. And this is what we got. So let's jump to the next chapter, image to video. So I am using Flux point one and I'm using it through Kriya.ai. You can use it completely for free. And the big benefit of using image to video is obviously you can... How to use AI to scrape the data from any website in minutes. Add this to your business to get data more valuable than gold. Step number one, just go to app.site.com and create an account. You can sign up with Google or GitHub. Now that you're on the inside, they have a scraping template, so we don't have to start from scratch. But before you can activate it, you just have to go to step number two, create a new project. Click on this create project button. Now just give it a name and either deploy your own web scraping code to the cloud or we can use sites AI powered spiders. 
source, which is a no-go solution. Just click on select. As you can see, all will happen within the Scrapey Cloud and the Site API, which will protect you from getting banned from most websites. Then click on Create Project. Once you've done that, you're ready to start step number three, create your spider. So first, we can select between the templates, e-commerce, or add your own template so you can create your own. We're going to use the e-commerce one. So just click on select, then write our name, and we select a URL that we want to scrape. I want to use the CL Raven domain that has some of the coolest backpacks and outdoor clothes. So I'll just copy the URL, paste it into the spider, select the max request, and to customize it, you can do extraction source and crawl strategy. And now all that's left to do is save and run. As you can see, it's now started scraping. And in just five minutes, all of this juicy data is mine. I just can't believe how quick and easy it is to start and scale web scraping with AI. So check out site.com. Next chapter, image to video. So I am using Flux point one and i'm using it through kriya.ai you can use it completely for free and the big benefit of using image to video is obviously you can do a lot of image generation so you don't spend all your credits trying to find one that actually works with text to video my favorite generation by far was this one so i'm gonna download that and i'm gonna upload it directly in here and then i want to show you the prompting tips inside of the guide here it says from image plus plus text-based prompt, you want to focus on describing the movement you'd like in the output rather than the content of the image. You might try the following prompts if using an image that has a featured character. Subject cheerfully poses her hands forming a peace sign. So to simplify it, I would like to do camera movement plus subject behavior. And there is also something to note that you can use this image as a first frame or you can use it as a last frame. That means that you generate five seconds before the image and first is obviously the image starts and then we generate five seconds. So we'll do the camera movement, camera zooming in, Panda putting the phone up to his ear and speaking. I think we can be more visually descriptive. So his mouth speaking, maybe that's gonna work better. Again, I'll not use any of these presets. We're gonna take a look at that later. Have the watermark removed and I'll click on generate two times. Now we got two iterations back. Let's take a look. Here you can see the camera is moving closer, but no phone going to his ear. And the second variation, you can see that he's actually just speaking and having <laughs> what is happening yep it's definitely like a super villain type panda right there but uh, yeah the movement of the hand i could probably specify that a little bit better by saying moving the phone and his hand up to his ear but i actually like this one it's it look like he's on some sort of video call and he's threatening somebody to take another panda's entire bamboo supply. But one of the things that you might have noticed is that they actually cost a lot of credit. So one thing that we can do is to go to Gen 3 Alpha, click on it, and we have Gen 3 Alpha Turbo. This is faster, use a little less credit, but let's jump to the next chapter, the preset. So as you can see here, we have surreal levitation that basically creates a crazy prompt for us. If I click on macro cinematography, I actually have to delete it before. It's basically just a prompt. So I can keep clicking and I will keep getting very special prompts that the runway team has found to be one of the best prompts to get great motion. So let's find a good one and test it out. I'm gonna actually try this surreal levitation. It starts with an extreme wide angle establishing shot, shot from low angle level looking up at into the sky at sunset hours. And then if I click on this, it basically selects the entire thing. They want me to add a subject, for example, a plastic bag, a shiny orb or a goat. I wanna try to do some sort of floating island and first obviously generate an image like that. Yeah, this looks pretty good. I'll just try a little bit more. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Yeah, there we go. I really like this variation. This one is also really cool. Actually, I wanna do this one cause it's more cinematic. So I'll drag the image in, change the subject, a floating island. And then it wants me to describe the style here in the style of cinematic. It gives this extreme perspective 3x speed. So let's try that. 
two generations and remember that we're using gen 3 alpha turbo so the quality is going to be a little bit less but we're not going to use as many credits that went really fast just about 15 seconds or so let's take a look at the first generation okay you can see the floating island is looking really cool definitely the quality is a little bit more contrasty but i really like that the sky above is kind of moving really fast as well as the waterfall obviously just pushing water down in the sky let's take a look at the second generation as you can see moving closer to the island i love the perspective change that we're zooming into this island kind of a really cool establishing shot if there were things to happen in this island. And you can see the clouds and everything zooming in. And I think this is where we have the 3x speed going through and the perspective change. So that's really cool. There's a lot more presets that you can test. You can click on this button as well, where you have a bunch of different examples, including handheld, high angle, macro cinematography, night portraits, even slow motion. And you can even create your own custom ones as well that you can use as your own presets if you've created something before and you want to templatize it to use it again and again. But you might have seen this button in the bottom called lip sync. So that's what I want to show you next. So I'm going to try to generate a woman on stage. I quite like this generation. It's going to be interesting to see if it's going to do the hands. So once you have an image that you actually want to lip sync, you can click on this lip sync video tool. Now we can drag the image in here. And also if you have a video, you can upload that. Now it only works if you have a detected face. So now we can start typing or upload audio to generate lip sync video. I'm going to show you both. So I written the text here and then you can see we need to select a voice here. They got Maggie. Hey there, Maggie here. I appreciate you coming all. Okay, we got Jack. I'm ready to head off on an amazing adventure. Hi there. I absolutely love telling stories. Okay, there's a lot more as well that we can pick between. Let's do Katie and then we can click on generate. Here it's our result. It's about 10 seconds. Let's take a look. The police is now using robot dogs to fight crime. We sent it into a high risk house yesterday and it did great until it started sniffing their laptops USB stick. That's horrible. <laughs> Let's actually look at the lip movement. The police though. is now using robot dogs to fight crime. We sent it into a high risk house yesterday and it did great until it started sniffing their laptops USB stick. Okay, cool. I want to try to actually get some movement because that was only the lips, right? So let's go back to the text to video, drag the actual video in here. I'm going to prompt it with some movement. Let's generate two again. I'm going to use the turbo. Let's check the first example. It actually looks really good super clean good hands as well good movement of the hands and camera motions as well so that looks really awesome the second generation let's take a look here we go again and yeah the movement here is really good so yeah both of them can work really well i'm gonna try to use the first one and click on lip sync again i'll paste the same script i'm gonna write a new script and we'll generate lip sync again so here we got the video with the lip sync, let's take a look. The inbuilt camera of the dog shows the criminals yelling, roll over, and the robot dog rebooted in safe mode. <laughs> so it seems like we did about five seconds, and then we actually do kind of a boomerang that plays the clip in reverse again. But let's take a quick look the at the lips. The inbuilt camera of the dog shows the criminals yelling, roll over, and the robot dog rebooted in safe mode. Yeah, the lip movement is fine. It's not perfect if you don't really look that closely it could pass with flying colors and this is obviously just using the turbo model if you use the better version it will be even better so you're now seeing text to video image to video presets and camera motion and lip sync so i'm wondering what are you going to use it for drop a comment down below also if you enjoy videos like this and want to use ai tools to become more productive check out our private community in the link in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one